Today guys, I'm gonna talk about what I think is the best running shoe I've ever worn in my life, the Hoka Clifton 6. You know, I've always went to stores like Shoe Carnival and just bought like a cheap pair of Adidas shoes that I, you know, wore for a few months and then got a new pair. But I wanted to do something a little bit different this time. So I went to the Runner's Forum and at the Runner's Forum they had these shoes that really stuck out to me. The Hoka Clifton 6. Before the Hoka Clifton 6 there were five other models that they previously made. But I think this is by far the nicest running shoe that I've ever worn in my life. So I work on my feet and I try to run every day and it, it you know, builds up a lot of tension in my knees, my legs. They usually get pretty sore and so I wanted something with a little extra padding and this shoe is perfect because as you can see on the sole, it has a very thick sole, which is 29 millimeters. It really does support your foot well. And I noticed one thing that uh, was throwing me off and they're dirty at the bottom, but I tend to run with my feet. I put a lot of tension on the outside area of my foot. And so this area really in the shoe has like extra padding, I think, and it just really builds up and it really, you know, absorbs a lot of shock. I've read multiple reviews and they've talked about the fact that these are good for really long runs and even though I do sprints, I don't really do long, you know, marathons, that kind of stuff. But from running on these shoes for the last two days, I've noticed that these provide a lot of support and I feel, you know, the lack of a need to put an insert in. I haven't really needed to go and buy a running insert or Dr. Scholl's work insert because these shoes, they have so much padding in them and I think it's really, if you have feet that get sore from running and a lot of activity on your feet, I think these are the ones for you. Now one drawback to these shoes is I really don't think that the look is all that appealing. On the outside of the shoe, in the back, you're going to see a Clifton 6 logo, you're going to see the Hoka logo, and both of these logos are pretty big and I think they kind of draw away from the look and that's why I went with black because these shoes in other colors, they don't look good at all. They look hideous. And I wanted something that was gonna be simple and streamlined, and so that's why I went with black. And besides, I already own like the white Reeboks. I own so many classic shoes that are white, and so I wanted to make sure that I had a different color shoe, a black shoe, because this shoe, I also work in it, and it does hide a lot of dirt. And so it is a, a really nice shoe and it's pretty lightweight. If you look closely at these shoes in person or you look at pictures of them online, you're gonna think that this is a really big and bulky shoe, but I don't really think it is. When you carry it, it's a really light feeling shoe and I think it's really comfortable. And I think that what they did is the technology that they used in this shoe was meant to be very light, breathable, but it also provides a lot of support to your foot. As for the price of these shoes, I got these shoes for $130. Uh, they're pretty much $130 everywhere you're gonna look. And I think they're you know, a really good bang for the buck. I was looking at some of the alternatives like the Brooks uh, running shoes and the Oasis. And I just decided that this was gonna be the best option because for the price point, I felt like this shoe had a lot more padding uh, then and a lot more support than the other shoes. Next up, as far as how you can style this shoe, I think it's pretty simple. If you're gonna go with the black and white one or the colorful ones, you have to be pretty careful because I know like the blue and yellow colorful ones, you really can't match that with a lot of stuff. You're not gonna be able to wear those with a lot of colors. But if you do the black or you do the white, you're gonna have a, a pretty solid amount of different options. The white Hoka Clifton 6 runs with pretty much everything and it runs, it looks very well with everything. But for the black, ones I like to just keep these simple I wear them usually with a black pair of shorts a black shirt and I think it looks pretty good uh, or black joggers or blue joggers um, I think look good with this shoe it's a basic color and I think it looks good with pretty much everything now I definitely wouldn't wear this shoe with chinos because it wouldn't look right I really wouldn't wear it with jeans because again, I don't like the way these shoes look with jeans. So guys, that is today's video, my review of the Hoka Clifton 6. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Also go ahead and subscribe. Turn on notifications so that you get notified whenever we put out a new video here at Gent Style. And with that said, I'm Robert, this is Gent Style, and I will see you in the next episode.